Hello everyone, welcome back to Poke Patrol. Hi Lucy. <laughs> welcome back to Poke Patrol. A couple weeks ago... Hi, hi Lucy. <laughs> Apparently my uh, my cat wanted to join in on the, uh, the video. Do you want to do the intro with me? Alright, we'll do, we'll do the intro together. Hello everybody, welcome back to Poke Patrol. Look, you have to wave. Hello everybody, <laughs> welcome back to... <laughs> you couldn't give a shit, could you? Okay. Hello everybody, welcome back to Poke Patrol. A couple weeks ago, I did a video where you guys suggested bad shinies for me to fix, and then I attempted to fix them. Keyword being attempted, because I don't know how good they actually were. But if you guys enjoyed that video, then you're in luck, because there are a lot of bad shinies. Which means we're going to have a lot of these videos. And just like last time, these are just the opinions of me and a few folks on Twitter, so if you like the original shinies more, that's perfectly fine, you're not wrong. These are just our opinions, and we're doing our best to fix them, but if you don't like them, that's cool. So, to start things off, Kiki the Octo says that the Weevil line needs to be fixed. So, let's take a quick look at their shinies. Oh. Oh wow, those are some, uh... Those are some very pink Pokémon. Definitely not the worst shinies I've ever seen, but... I can't say I'm a huge fan of the pink and yellow color combination. So, I've come up with two potential fixes for Sneasel and Weavile. Uh, the first is to give their bodies a slightly darker, more mauve color, and to turn their head feathers blue. Uh, I think this really makes it clear that they are dark and ice Pokemon, but it may be a bit too close to the original color palette, so I've also made a second one where their bodies are white and the feathers are red. So my thought process for this was uh, kind of make them more like hunters that would hunt into the snow and blend in with the snow, but it may be a bit too extreme. Uh, either way, I think it's a bit of an improvement, uh, but let me know. Up next, Rammy Everything has asked me to fix Kabuto. Uh, unfortunately, Kabuto is another Pokemon that suffers from being green for no real reason, but that's okay because I made him red, so he looks like a cute little ladybug. And at a bonus, Red Kabutops is sick as hell. Green shiny fixed. All right, Lucario Pokegonda has asked me to fix Arceus, the god of all Pokemon. That's uh, that's quite the task. So let's take a look at Arceus' shiny. Okay, um, which one of you pissed all over God? I get that this should probably be interpreted as like a golden god, but all I see is urine. My initial instinct with Arceus was to make his shiny red, but looking back on this, I feel like it doesn't do Arceus justice. So I've revised this a little further and made him black instead. I've actually made two versions of the black shiny, one where his gold decals are also black, and one where they remain gold and his body is black. Hopefully one of these new shinies looks good, but if not, I mean, it's God. You can't really improve on God. On to the next one. Iola and Cody Peters have both asked me to take a look at Shiny Crocodile. Cody has even gone as far as to call it a disgrace. I actually don't think I've ever seen what Shiny Crocodile looks like. Uh, so just give me one second, I actually need to look this up. What the fuck am I looking at? That's so bad. What the... Is that, is that legit? Is that the real... Is that the real Shiny? Like, okay, I'm usually messing around when I call some of these shinies bad, but this is legit bad. It's just... What? Alright, I have to do this one. Hold on. So, I have two ideas for Shiny Crocodile. The first is to make his body a reptilian green, because he is a crocodile. And my second idea was to make him entirely black, because he is a dark type. Notice how either way I didn't change his black highlights, because they're cool, and why would you want to change those? He has sunglasses on. Why is he beige in the original shiny? Who did that? Game Freak, you're bad. Bad. Go to the timeout corner. You're grounded. That being said, shiny fixed. Wide Groudon says that he hates his piss yellow armor. Don't worry, man. Let me fix that for you. There. Now you don't have any armor. Shiny fixed. <laughs> alright, alright, I'm just kidding. Uh, I think that shiny Groudon would look really good if he was blue, though. Um, ideally this would work best if Shiny Kyogre ended up being red, so they kind of just swap colors. But that's just my crazy pipe dream. And of course, here's Black Groudon because Black Shinies are amazing and I have an addiction to them. I'm so sorry. Pacific Pikachu 9 on YouTube says that he feels that Samurott Shiny is pretty subpar compared to the other two Unova starters. And I have to agree with him on that. Embor Shiny is far too good for Embor. He doesn't deserve it. Samurott, on the other hand, suffers from Garchomp Syndrome, meaning that his shiny barely changes from the original artwork, which is sad. So sad. So I've gone ahead and made him a nice maroon color. I made his armor a nice silver, and I gave him beautiful baby blue eyes. Shiny fixed. Lucario Gonda 
not to be confused with Lucario Pokeganda from before, has requested Lunala. So a little heads up, I couldn't find a decent picture of shiny Lunala, so I had to recreate it. That means that this might not be 100% accurate, but it is roughly what shiny Lunala looks like. I kind of see what they're going for. I did the same thing with Crobat last time I did this, but they kind of just went overboard with the red. He's just, he's so red. He's a red boy. I think they could have just made his wings red and left the rest of his body white, and it would have looked so much better, like this. I also made the spooky boy version too, because black shinies are cool. Shiny fixed? Pokemon Professor Maple wants me to fix Pyroar shiny. I'll be honest, I had never seen Pyroar shiny prior to doing this video. And boy was I disappointed. It looks like someone dropped Pyroar into a bucket of bleach. Why are they so pale? Anyway, pale lines aside, I took some inspiration from Scar from The Lion King, not sponsored by the way, and made these little beauties. Shinies fixed. Hannah, at Slimy Ghost Guts, great Twitter handle by the way, wanted me to fix Shiny Furret. <laughs> hey everyone, it's, uh, it's Future Me, editing the video currently at 4.20 in the Hey, 4.20, uh, at 4.20 in the morning. Yeah, so I just noticed that Hannah had requested Shiny Centret, but then she had posted a GIF of Shiny Furret. So with my small brain, I got confused. So uh, Hannah, I'm sorry if you actually want is Shiny Centret instead, I did Shiny Furret. But if you want Shiny Centret, I will do it in the next video, just let me know. Uh, but hopefully you enjoy the shiny fur it changes, and if not, I'm sorry, please don't hate me. Here's more video of my cat. Hopefully that makes things better. Lucy's very sorry. Now, I personally think that the pink looks really cute on Furret. But to be fair, Furret is adorable and he looks good no matter what. I actually made two versions of shiny Furret because I didn't know which one I liked better. Uh, in the first version, I made his fur a little bit darker, more of an auburn color. I think it's auburn. I actually don't know what auburn is. I'm just saying things now. Uh, but I felt like this may be a bit too similar to his official artwork. So I made a second version where I made his fur orange. So he kind of looks like a very long, skinny red panda, which is adorable. Shiny fixed. And finally, Knickknack0440 has requested that I fix Pikachu. Like Samurott, Pikachu shiny barely changes at all from the original artwork. I think it's like a slightly darker shade of yellow, maybe more of an orangish color, and his cheeks are just slightly more red. The thing is though, I really struggled with this one. Pikachu is just so iconic that it felt wrong to change it in any way. No matter what I did, no matter what color I made him, it just, it seemed off, or wrong, or evil, kind of. It's just, it's Pikachu, it's what he looks like. I finally settled on making his fur white and keeping his cheeks red. I feel like this shiny works because his cheeks still pop out, you still know it's Pikachu, um, and it also complements Shiny Eevee because he's also white and they're kind of like counterparts now. So it kind of works, maybe, kind of, not really. Shiny, 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 Shiny Maid? I don't know if it's fixed or not, but it exists now. I did it. It's a thing that exists. So Shiny Maid. Yay. All right, unfortunately, that is all the time we have this week for fixing Shinies. If a Shiny you suggested didn't make it in this episode, don't worry, it'll probably make it into a future episode. And trust me, there will be future episodes because there are a lot of bad shinies, so please keep on suggesting them. All right, everyone, that's gonna do it for me. If you guys like this video, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. It'll help the channel grow, and uh, we really need that right now. Uh, also, make sure to comment uh, other shinies I should fix in the future episodes. I'm always curious to see what you, uh, what you guys think are bad shinies. Until next time, goodbye, trainers. <laughs>